here we have a fairly typical 1950s or 1960s hair dryer made by Pifco. Some nice lettering on there. 550 watts AC or DC. It's not a really good idea to plug this into the wall at the moment because the insulation is rubber and it is perished, which is quite typical of old flexes. So, for the time being, I'm going to put my bit of flex I can find that isn't rubber. But first of all, let's have a look inside. First of all, it's quite dirty. Lots of bits of hair inside, not much of an air filter there. Brushes, carbon brushes, made quite a smell. Well, I did plug it in earlier, I admit and it did run without going up in smoke but it smells like the old fashioned model train motors tiny element there and switches made of laminates of what appears to be Bakelite type material and in the handle this capacitor something to raise eyebrows the flex comes in here and is terminated on these solder tags which also form the clamp for the flex. This internal capacitor prevents radio frequency interference from the motor sparking. Here's a close up on the flex black and red, neutral and live, quite crumbly, just breaks apart in my fingers. Not very really safe. Okay, that's back together. Put a few chocolate blocks in there. Since it's such a cramped space, I had to trim off a bit of a plastic there, but it's all back in. I had a fiddle with the switch, and it's a very old lesson, but I uh, had a fiddle, but shouldn't have done. I broke off one of the soldered connectors to the heater there. Plugs rewired. I've still put the strange fuse in. It hasn't got a current rating, it's got a voltage rating stamped on it. 